Hi, I'm Chris Michael with this week's 4 for 4 Sports Notes. And of course, we're all counting down to the big Lafayette Lehigh college football game this weekend. A prediction on that game coming up in just minutes. But headlining this week's sports features... <laughs> Even though some members of the media have disagreed with me on this one, I really like the Phillies' addition of Howie Kendrick for several different reasons. First of all, and I know he slumped the last couple of years not playing every day with the Dodgers, but first and foremost, he is a proven hitter, an established player you can plug into the opening day lineup and not have to worry about, at least for the first couple months of the year, and he takes some of the pressure off guys like Odubel Herrera, Tommy Joseph, and Mike Hel Franco. Second of all, if he improves just a little bit, he's going to improve what was one of the worst offenses in all of Major League Baseball. Third, if he has a great return and plays like he did several years ago, he's going to be a nice chip that you can trade at the trade deadline. And even if he is a complete bust offensively, the Phillies gave up virtually nothing for him. Darren Ruff was a player who had multiple opportunities to prove himself with the Phillies and failed last year in even a platoon role with Ryan Howard. Darnell Sweeney, when he was acquired, he was expected to be a super utility guy and add some punch off the bench. Yet he spent the entire 2016 campaign in AAA and, in my opinion, actually regressed on offense and defense this year. Neither Ruff nor Sweeney figured into the Phillies' future plans. So regardless of what happens with Howie Kendrick, I think the Phillies made another positive move this offseason. Point two. I think this year's District 11 6A championship football game is going to be a good one, living up to the billing. Parkland versus Freedom, they're very matched in a lot of different ways. I think you have to give the advantage as far as the running game to the Parkland Trojans, but Freedom probably owns the advantage in terms of the passing game. On defense, no team in the Lehigh Valley allowed fewer points than the Parkland Trojans, but Freedom has their own standout playmakers both up front and in the secondary. And special teams is a wash too, so I think it's going to be a great First ever District 11 6A championship game, and whoever wins this game, the final score won't be larger than two scores. Point three. For the District 11 3A championship this weekend, it's another one of those great rematch games between Notre Dame and Penn Argyle. Penn Argel won the first meeting between these two teams during the regular season and had great success running the ball against the Crusaders. But I was impressed by Notre Dame's defensive effort last weekend against North Schuylkill and a bend but don't break mentality against the bruising offensive line and running back core. Jack Nesbitt, Christian Candelaria, E.J. Medina, the hits just kept on coming last week against the Spartans. They have a very athletic defense and I think they're attack against the run has improved over the last couple weeks. Penn Argel definitely has a shot if they can come into this one healthy, but I think on paper the Crusaders have a good chance of avenging one of their two losses this year. And finally, <laughs> last but not least, a quick uh, reminder that coming up on this week's RCN Sports Talk Show presented by The Morning Call, we will have legendary sports writer and former Morning Call editor Paul Reinhardt on the program to talk about high school and college football, both past and present. That's coming up this Thursday live at 7 p.m. on RCN TV. All right. Time you've been waiting for, the big Lafayette Lehigh prediction. And I know RCN is partners with the Lafayette Sports Network, but i got to be honest here. Lehigh is playing on such a high level right now. Their offense has been phenomenal. They've sustained some injuries, but they've had such great depth that they haven't missed a beat, and they have so much momentum coming into this game. I know it's a big rivalry game, but i, I got to be completely honest here, and I'm going to say that Lehigh will... But what's what's that noise? What, what what's going on here? Why is the room shaking? What what what? Oh!